Okay, so now I've completed all of my joinery and I'm ready to start shaping. The reason why I've held off on shaping thus far is I don't want to risk removing any reference faces that I might need prematurely. Uh, so I've got my mortises and my dovetails done, uh, as well as my rabbit joinery on the side. Uh, and now I'm ready to start cutting in into my reference face. Uh, so you can see on my through tenons, I've already started cutting a bit into my reference face just to kind of establish the shoulder of where my tenon will end here. Uh, and all I did was run this piece vertically on the sled and then cut away the rest on the bandsaw. So I'm gonna do something similar to this side piece here. Uh, so my front panels that are trapped in with rabbit joiner here end at this point here. And so I want a nice flat reference face right there. Um, so I'm gonna cut this vertically on the table saw. I've set up a stop for myself and I've also set up a height. Okay, so my next step in shaping is I'm going to take this to the bandsaw and I'm going to try to cut as closely to my line as possible, probably about a thin sixteenth. Uh, and in a lot of cases, uh, as I change direction on the bandsaw, I might be cre creating areas where the blade could potentially get bound up in the cut. So what I'm going to do first is make a series of relief cuts that are kind of act as my escape routes as I'm cutting on the bandsaw, just in case the blade does start to get bound up and I'm not really able to navigate it through my cut. Same with this piece here. I'm just gonna cut it as closely as possible to that line, but I'm going to leave the line untouched because it's my reference line. So one advantage of using the narrow blade, as you might have seen, was that I was able to really easily navigate pretty tight radiuses or radii. Every single time where the blade started to feel like it would bind up a bit, I would just back up from the cut, uh, create a little more room, and then start cutting forward again. Uh, definitely never try to make any curved cuts on the Powermatic. That is a much wider blade designed for resawing, and it would probably eventually crack and break if you bent it too much. <laughs> 